Welcome back to Let's Play Doom Heroes .wad, where we last left off, E3 M6. And this is a l super long level. I usually hit that one level where I absolutely dread doing it. And this is that level. It was E1 M3 before, and then I don't remember which one of the... Episode 2 levels. Luckily we get a map right off the bat. It's a bit wonky to get up there. That <laughs> little toilet. It's the simple things, really. Also, this being an endurance level, it's even more important to not have your health chipped away. So I highly recommend killing any uh, hit scan enemies with a uh, chain gun. Dang it, the demon got right in my way as I was lining up the first snipe shots. Love those teleporting enemies. We do need to get the blue key though. Was hoping to have the shotgunners uh, take out the cacodemon. I had great luck with that in my practice run. Although I had terrible luck with this part. Bad monster placement. Gotta make sure your monsters aren't stuck inside the walls. These are random teleporters. They're more disorienting than they are useful. Although I suppose if you get stuck, they might be worth it then. Anyways. Some armor there if you need it. And what's in this one? Ah, this room. Another secret is in this one. I get the secret as I walk out. And there's health there if you need it. Which I did during my practice runs. Now, uh, that switch it actually opened up uh, this room because usually there's a bar right here like so I would highly r recommend against uh, going through that teleporter though as it teleports you someplace else but for the sake of exploration we'll hit it later but for right now we need the blue key I think it's this one Yeah, it's this one. Now something I haven't said about this level is pretty much the entire outside is radioactive. I think it deals three points of damage. It might be five, I'm not sure. So, yeah, we do need the blue key because it unlocks uh, all the radiation suits. As well as a few doors. Waiting on an elevator. Going up. Now what those switches do is raise the platform back there. Or rather lower it. And I love those elevators. They're instant. So we get a rock launcher from that and we're running on back because now we can open up those for more radiation shielding suits. But more importantly, there's a Baron in here.
love it when he just moves away from my line of fire. And you'll notice you can't grab this plasma rifle unless you climb up this and then run across it. But that's all that's really in there. So I'm going to grab another suit, which you do need a lot of. Now something cool is that the, there's an arrow right here showing you this secret. Now the problem with this secret is uh, yeah usually that cacodemon in my practice runs took two shots to kill and uh, also that gave us the red key which we need for the secret exit So yeah, just making sure I grabbed everything. And now we head to get the yellow key. This door, by the way, requires the blue key. But we can always pick up these goodies. Ah, uh, second cacodemon when I didn't see. Ooh, that was close. I thought I was slightly more to the right than I was. Anyways, back to grab another suit. See, I told you we need a bunch of them. Oh, that was lame. You're supposed to be one shot. Flip that again, just cuz. And now we head down. Thought I killed all y'all. Oh well. Pick up some ammo. And now that we have the yellow key, we could actually exit the level, but it too has a catch. So let's clear it out first. Nothing too hard, right? Teleporter into the red key room, which is why I went back and grabbed that suit. Uh, that would have sucked. I actually had that happen in one of my practice runs where uh, my suit ran off in the red room and I almost died. I did say this was an endurance level. Hello, demon. But in the sake of exploration... Oh, it's on the other one. For the sake of exploration, we can explore the outside and put a suit on. It's pretty big and open, so I'll strafe run through it. Anyways, that one teleporter earlier, it leads actually to here. And while you don't 100% need the blue key to get in and out, it's very helpful. So many demons. Somehow I didn't take much damage from that, and good thing you missed, and you didn't shoot. Ah, I thought I had you. Oh yeah, and a lot of these blue doors, they're fakes. 
That was close. That that one was gonna hit me. Oh well. Well, that's a good ease, but my ammo is full. Wouldn't surprise me if all those uh, rad suits were for co-op. But if they were for co-op, they should have been flagged for co-op. So, I don't know. I suppose if you had like a, f a full four-man team. Or a person who really liked to ex fully explore every nook and cranny. Ah, I missed that. Now this always trips me up. But the way out is actually through here. Not in that one. One in there. One in there. We can see that glow, so mega armor. Very nice parting gift. But let's head back this way. Because the red door is over this way. Hello, demon. Goodbye. Sneaking up like a ninja. Did not see that demon there. Anyways, just like the exit door, the red door has this annoying one-off teleport. And uh, we could go back and end the level, but there's still one more place uh, I haven't been to. No, the Kakademon's getting away. Hate it when they do that. They play backwards like that. We haven't been to this other one yet. I like how in just now he hits me and that I miss the killing blow. Weapon diversity. They just like the shotgun better. But yes, all that's this way is an ammo cache. All right, we need to lower that first. Is it lowerable? I don't remember. I'd imagine it is. Ah, elevator. When I did my practice runs, I didn't explore every nook and cranny. med kit and a health bonus. Do they even notice me? I don't mind free kills. And that should be practically everything. Missing two kills apparently. 
Oop, wrong room. Anyways, I'll do my my quick save, showing you that that is the exit to the next level, and now we'll head to the secret exit. But yes, you'll get teleported off, but don't worry. You just have to re-enter the room. Like so. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.